Hey y'all, it's your girl Liz. Welcome to my Nostra vlog. I'm in Germany right now. <laughs> Excuse the look, I'm kind of hot. I've been walking all over the airport. I don't know where the hell I'm at or where I'm going, but like luckily some people here like are helpful and they've been guiding me. I hope you guys like this video. Follow me on my journey. I came alone. Not that no one wanted to come with me, but I just felt better doing it. Plus it's like a bucket list thing, so. People are looking at me funny because I'm holding my phone with a tripod. It's okay because we're in Europe. Right now I have to go catch a shuttle. If you come and have a layover in Germany, you can always just ask for help. There's a lot of people that help. Hold on, I'm going the wrong way. Anything for you guys. They did check my Turkish passport. I will have the link below where you can get it online. It's very easy, it takes like 10 minutes. I don't know how it works with the US passport, but with the Mexican passport, it's actually free. You don't have to pay anything. I made it to Turkey, finally, after almost 19 hours in airports and planes. I made it! I already went to exchange my cash from dollar to lira. I asked them if I didn't spend all of it, if I could turn it back into dollar and they said yeah but it might not be worth the same so just cash out what you're gonna use actually right now I have to go catch a train and that's gonna take me to my hotel I don't know if it's the nose or what but people have been trying to talk to me in Turkish and Arabic so I'm glad I blend in <laughs> had my first adventure of the night i went to buy some tea in this little herbal store it was only 70 lira and that equals to four dollars i'm gonna use it to sleep because after the nose job i'm gonna struggle i'm gonna be drinking a lot of tea now i'm looking for a charger because these european outlets i'm not used to do i look like a tourist the taxi just stopped <laughs> Hey y'all, it's day two here in Izmir. I just woke up, I showered, and now I'm getting ready. I brought my own hair straightener, and right now I just realized that I cannot use it because I have nowhere to plug it in. All the accessories can only be used if they have this plug-in. So call your hotel before and make sure they have that. If they don't, don't even bother to bring it. It's just taking extra space in your luggage and I wish I knew. They do offer a blow dryer. What I'm doing to straighten my hair is just and it's kind of working, I mean, better than nothing. So yeah, just letting you guys know. I just went to that little corner store over there to get some fruit and some juice. I'm gonna need it and I'm gonna be on bed rest after surgery. I won't be able to go out and eat. I was trying to find ramen noodles, but I couldn't find none. I don't think they have that here. So I just looked for Chorba, which is soup. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge because tomorrow is surgery day. Ask me if I'm nervous because I am. Good morning, y'all. I just woke up. It is currently about to be 9 a.m. and today is surgery day. Excuse the look. I barely slept. I slept like a total of three hours. I was so anxious the whole night and I don't know if it was anxiety or just excitement, but I couldn't sleep at all i kept i kept like tossing around and waking up and i'm gonna be honest with my doctor and tell him like hey i barely got any sleep hopefully it doesn't affect anything but i'd rather him know so just be honest with um your surgeon about everything i forgot to mention this but a one night stay at the hospital is covered in the surgery cost it's optional but i chose to stay there just so the nurses can take care of me and if your surgeon offers that i suggest that you actually take it and i feel like it's good so you know if you need anything or if anything goes goes wrong or you're in pain the nurses will be there like that versus if you were in your hotel like who's gonna know that you're like passing out you know <laughs> i'd rather be safe than sorry okay so i prepped everything on my bed just to see exactly what i'm gonna take to the hospital this is my outfit the neck pillow you're gonna need it because you're not gonna be able to sleep on your back you're gonna sleep sitting down make sure you have all your chargers things to distract yourself something that reminds you of your family or something this one reminds me of my dog and my little sister gave it to me so this is one of the things that i bought yesterday i forgot to mention it in the vlog but this is bruising cream so basically after the surgery you're going to bruise hella around your eyes i'm getting ultrasonic rhinoplasty it's literally like they're shaving your nose might not need this as much but just in case i got it i saw a lot of um youtubers 
talking about this here in turkey you can find it at any drugstore pharmacy around here i i bought it like down the block of course my vaseline so my lips don't get chapped and i don't want to leave these behind so my glasses a hair tie of course my passport surgery money oh also don't forget your straw you won't be able to drink like normal water bottle so you have to for sure bring a straw with you don't forget maybe they'll provide one in the hospital but it's better to be safe i would say bring everything that's of value i'm playing it safe you know in case anything happens to me you know i hope not but you never know only god knows so just in case you know i don't want to leave any valuables here because imagine something bad happens and then like the hospital has to deal with sending my stuff back and i don't know like you just want to take it with you i will suggest leaving everything ready for your surgery i won't be taking this just because i know they're gonna have some in the hospital after the surgery you're barely gonna want to move so leave everything ready even my food is ready just so i can come and eat i won't be as hungry but still it's 9 15 and i haven't ate since 6 a.m i'm looking getting hungry but they told me that i can't eat anything after that so Anyways, I'm gonna get ready because the surgeon just texted me. They're gonna come pick me up in a taxi and then it's time. Oh, pray for me. This is not my nose. It's broken. I was not born with this nose. So before you guys tell me everything, bye. Only God and I know the truth and my family because they support this. I am ready. No makeup, nothing in my face, no product, no jewelry, no earrings. I had to take out my belly piercing. I made sure to wear something comfortable, comfortable shoes as well. I recommend that you take socks because after surgery, I heard it gets really cold. I have everything that I need in my backpack, so we're good to go. I have to get on the taxi in five minutes, so I'm going to head out. So this is where I'm gonna stay overnight. It seems like I just signed my life away, which I kind of did in a way, but I'm not trying to think of it like that. When you get here, they draw your blood so they can check if everything's okay with you. They said the doctor will be here in one hour and the surgery will be in about two. Like always, I am very thankful for this opportunity. I am thankful that I am able to even do this. I am also sad. I was not born with this nose, like I said, but it's still hitting in some type of way. I can't believe it's actually happening. It's like a milestone for me. Okay, so the doctor came. He took pictures. He asked me how I want my nose. He asked if I have any reference photos. I showed him a couple pictures, but I told him that I want something that matches my face because I do have chubby cheeks. So I want something that matches that. He said it's okay to take melatonin on the flight home because it's 18 hours. Okay, guys. They just gave me my stuff to put on. I'm changing now. They said to not wear anything. Oh my god, my ass is gonna show. They want me to take out my underwear. I'm not gonna lie, this little hair cup is not doing shit for me. I have a lot of hair and it's thick. But I think I got it. They also gave me these. I guess I had to take out my socks. I thought they were like socks, but they're slippers. She is ready. Oh my god. It's kicking now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Praying that everything goes good. And if you're watching this, follow your dreams if this is something you want to do do it don't wait for no one's approval you got this come alone if you have to my throat hurts a lot my nose doesn't hurt that much what hurts is this shit i don't know how to explain it but i cannot talk that much i will talk once i feel better Thank God, everything came out good. Hey y'all, I actually just got done eating. They gave me some tomate chorba. I packed my bags and my stuff because I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I already took a nap and everything. I took like a three hour nap. The doctor said everything came out good and I don't have to stay in the hospital. But he said that if I do feel bad, I can always just come back. Honestly, I feel fine. I'm just a little tired and like a little like, I guess I still feel like the anesthesia. Other than that, I do not feel pain. I had this needle in here, the one I showed you guys earlier. And honestly, that hurt more than this. So if you're worried about pain, 
So you don't have to worry. Doctor said one in two days you can be walking. But he's like, the more walking you do, the better. And as you see right now, I'm walking all around. I got tired of being in bed. You guys might think this is bruising, but it's not. It's the bad day. It's just a little darker and it makes it look like bruising. I went with ultrasonic rhinoplasty because they don't break your bones. So you won't get as much bruising and you heal way faster. My taxi is outside. Like I said, I'm leaving the hospital the same day. Five, two, eight. That's my taxi. Five, two, eight, two. Hello. Hello. Hey guys, good morning. Excuse the nose, I kind of have dried blood. I haven't bruised. They haven't swollen up either, so that's the good thing. I don't know if it'll come later, but so far so good. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I wasn't able to fall back to sleep. And now it's 8 a.m. The sun is coming out and I have to take my pills in the morning. He gave me all of these medicines. I just took all three of them together right now. Your surgeon will give you instructions to take home. He gave me everything I shouldn't do. And then he gave me instructions for the medicine. It's very detailed in English. Also, my doctor gave me a nasal spray that I have to do every four hours. I'm actually eating right now. I try to make sure that I had food in my stomach before taking those pills. So after the rhinoplasty, you won't be able to use your mouth as much without your stitches hurting a little bit. You have to consume very soft foods, not even hot foods, just soft and like kind of warm food. Make sure the soup is not too hot. This is the juice that I'm drinking. Honestly, I don't know if it's healthy, but like the look of it kind of gave up healthy. I was looking, I went to the grocery store kind of late. So this is the best thing I could get. But today I'm going to go find like a more natural pineapple juice, like from actual pineapples. Just because I was reading that pineapple is very good for a healing process and bruising, especially for the healing. It'll heal you up quicker. But also, I, I saw that a lot of girls were even eating pineapple before the surgery like days prior so if you're watching this and you have a rhinoplasty coming up doesn't matter if it's regular rhinoplasty or ultrasonic eat a lot of pineapple now i'm gonna oh uh, i don't know if it's because i was eating or because i haven't cleaned my nose or because the medicine hasn't kicked in yet but that was my first time feeling pain down here ow it just stung a little bit and then it went away so don't worry, don't get scared. Obviously, you're gonna feel something, like you have an injury, technically. These are the little things I brought from home, just in case. Um, Q-tips, they don't give that at the hospital, so bring a lot of Q-tips. This is the spray that my surgeon gave me. And have some tissue ready, because it could get in your mouth. Just put it like this so it catches any blood that comes out. And make sure that you're washing your hands. Just because you don't want to touch your nose and get an infection that's the last thing you want so fyi don't rub your nose because if you rub your nose you know when you're sick and you use a lot of tissue it irritates your nose it like burns it that's the type of pain you don't want especially when you already have like an injury and pain you don't want to add like a scab here like no that's the last thing you want what i do is i just wet the edge with water and i just place it there it slowly soaks up the blood. As you can see, I tried to clean as much as I could. There's still some there, but I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to let it be. It might bleed again anyway, so I'm not going to try to take out all the blood if I'm going to have to clean it again later. But so far, no swelling, no bruising. It's bad. Not even 24 hours since the surgery. But like I said, ultrasonic is your best option if you want to fast recovery even though it's a little more on the expensive side you should still consider it i'm trying to ask for some extra water but the lady is busy and i really do not just want to jump scare her good night then to sue lutfen thank you that lady is so nice like she's the same lady that's been cleaning my room and she's been stocking my room and stuff and Usually they give you two waters, but she gave me three. And I asked in Turkish, ah, that 77 day streak on Duolingo's coming in clutch. I suggest that you study a little bit of the culture, the language before coming. I love doing that. I don't know if it's just me though, but I swear when I leave, I'm going to tip that lady good because she's so nice. Yeah, but I'm going to close the curtains, shut off the lights, and I'm going to try to sleep for like two to three hours 
because once I wake up, I might go buy a hat and the pineapple juice, like I said. Time for bed. I'm outside now. I really rock on the stairs right now. Everyone's staring at me, but it's okay. It's cool. Oh my God, there's so many people out right now. So hiding from this is kind of hard. Some people mind their business, of course. We love those people. But others are just like staring, but that's okay. I really do not give a fuck. La que puede, puede. La que no critica. So I got to the hat store and they were closed. I recommend that hotel because thankfully it's close to everything. So there's one like around the corner. So I'm just gonna go to that one. Honestly, all of the shops here close earlier than they announced. So be careful with that or leave earlier, like in the morning. I really couldn't leave because I was resting but I'm regretting it now. Maybe tomorrow I can come out and I'll find more things. But like I said, everything closes like 8, 8.30, but it's only six, so I'm confused. Also, it's almost Ramadan here. So you also have to be aware of the culture. Maybe it's that. I was able to get a hat, <sighs> thank God. I'm still getting the weird stares. Yeah, I'm just drawing more attention to myself by vlogging, but it's okay, shit, no one knows me here. That's the power of traveling solo to a different country. No one knows you, no one knows you exist, they'll forget about you. Then the guy was kind enough to give me a straw. It's like they know, they're used to this. So don't be shy to be outside. I am walking to my hotel now. The Loki got kind of cold and also I ate. So maybe because of that too, I got cold, but I'm almost there. It was like a 10 minute walk, probably 15 because I'm walking really slow, but I can feel my nose bleeding internally so i'm trying to be walking more careful and i can't wait to go back to the hotel <laughs> my hotel is over there literally walking distance to everything i feel like when i walk i kind of like gallop which is bad because you're not supposed to do that so this is how i was walking around no wonder i was getting all those stairs but I got what I needed again. For sure, I need to go shopping for myself and for my family. I'm gonna buy a couple outfits here because everything is so cheap. I'm just waiting till I can walk a little more because I can't be walking like that. Hey guys, today I woke up a little bit in pain. I don't know why. Maybe it was from the walk yesterday. I take that back. You shouldn't overwalk. Give yourself a day or two. Honestly, I don't feel like going out for a walk to get some food, even though if it's like two blocks down. So I ordered room service. It was only 150 lira, but that's still kind of like pricey, you know? That's why I wasn't trying to order food from the hotel, but it's okay. I'm going to see if I feel better later so I can go get some more soup. Down the block, there's a good chorba place. Chef's Kiss, I recommend it. And it's so cheap. It's like... 45 for rice soup and bread compared to 150 i still have to buy some things for my fam and stuff and like catch a taxi to the airport and stuff so i'm trying to like limit my spending now but we'll see how this food tastes i just wasn't trying to walk this is what they brought me spaghetti with orange juice okay so i came to the pharmacy to buy some melatonin for the flight home because i won't be able to sleep and i can't be up my sleep has been all types of fucked up since the surgery because it honestly feels like i'm jet lagged all over again like i won't sleep at my times and i hate it okay so i got my melatonin and i actually got some sunscreen because it's more expensive in the u.s so i might as well get it here so i just got done eating <clears throat> my throat is a little bit dry just because i've been breathing through my mouth i just ate i just applied the spray and i'm gonna head out i'm gonna go for a walk it's a sunny day out so i want to be out there for a bit it's day three after surgery i got it friday it's monday never bruised no bruising at all as you can see my nose has been like having a lot of dry blood trigger warning I'm actually gonna go see my doctor tomorrow to take off the cast. He said that the dry blood is normal just to clean it up a little bit, but be careful with the stitches. I'm making another vlog outside of this one where it's just like exploring Izmir. So if you guys want to check that out, go check out the video. This one is just nose job. The other one is more like what I did exploring type of thing. What I would say though is take a full day rest after surgery. I kind of went out a day after and I started feeling like a little like uh, tired, ill. Wait at least two days after you go outside. Even if the doctor says it's okay, like 
rest you know because the walking will get you agitated well at least it got me yesterday i picked up the melatonin it helped me sleep honestly i feel more recuperated today so definitely pick up some melatonin it's safe to take i asked my surgeon but just in case of anything everyone's different ask your surgeon to be sure but i ended up taking two just because i did wake up in the middle of the night so i popped another one and that helped me sleep through so i did get my like seven or eight hours of sleep which is important this is the fit for today casual casual i finally found my pineapple juice ananas <laughs> Them kids look scared as fuck. They were like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Finally back in the hotel. I am so tired. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower and I'm trying to clean my nose because tomorrow is the removal for the cast. I just wanted to say though that it was a little bit hard to shower just because I had to like go back and stuff. So I didn't wash my hair that good. Well, I like to wash my hair like two times. So I only washed it once, barely. I just wanted to say that you should make sure that your hotel has this type of shower. It does make a difference and it makes it so much easier. Otherwise, you know, you're only going to be able to wash your body. But also, I think dry shampoo would be beneficial. So, pack that just in case you don't feel like showering. Good morning. It's cast removal day. I'm about to head to the hospital. Maybe I'll come and pick you up at 10 o'clock. Okay, then. I'll come and pick you up at 10 o'clock, okay? Okay. That's <laughs> cool. So I made it to the hospital. It seems like the doctor's assistant is picking everyone up. I think she also got her nose done. Ooh, it's gonna be removal day. They're gonna take the cast off. Hopefully they clean my nose because I feel like it's gonna hurt. We're waiting for the doctor. He'll be here in 15 minutes. You can sleep as normal, okay? Don't touch your nose to bed. You can sleep side, no problem. Mm -hmm. Also, eyeglass, sunglass, three months, no, not good, okay? Oh, glasses? Yes, okay. three months. The final shape takes one year in, in, in your nose. Okay, so right now it's really swollen, right? Yes, now swollen. One month later, 80-90% of the swelling will disappear. But the remain. Thank you. I cannot wait to get to the hotel. So I can clean up a bit, pack, and then get ready for tomorrow to fly home. I cannot wait. I miss my family. I miss my dog. I can't wait to see them because I live with anxiety before the surgery of like, damn, what if I don't see them no more? What if I die? So for me to see them is going to mean a lot. And I kind of got used to just crossing the street. Like at first I was really scared, but now I'm kind of just like everyone else i adjusted i brought all these books because i was like okay i'm gonna be in bed rest i'm gonna have time i've seen a lot of youtubers that said oh bring books bring books no don't bring any you're not gonna be in the headspace to even read so just focus on netflix and stuff i'm just being realistic i'm gonna be that blogger that tells you the truth if you want to read bring one but not a lot it's just gonna take space in your luggage i'm so excited to go home but at the same time sad i'm gonna miss everything the experience but it was a learning experience. Like I said, I recommend it. Solo travel, girl. Don't be scared. Bye-bye, Trinky. I will love you forever. Oh. Good thing it's cold outside because I am layered up. Not everything was able to fit in my luggage, so I'm taking it with me, like strapped up. And I'm sweating, but it's, the day has come, finally. Oh my God. I made it to the airport. Honestly, I was having trouble with the taxi because my card wasn't going through. Like I was saying, make sure you have enough cash for the taxi and make sure that your credit card works. Thankfully, I have 30 US dollars and that's like 571 Turkish lira. And my fare was like 300 something. He was like, it's okay, just give me that. And I was like, yes, imagine if I didn't have that. We were about to go to the bank for the ATM and that was gonna delay me for my flight. So please, please, please make sure you have enough money and cash and that your credit card works it's very important i'm about to board the plane 
thank you guys for watching my video like and subscribe ask me anything i will be answering all the rhinoplasty comments so yeah thank you